The plays seemed to combine a number of African ancestral traditions. There was Congos and Zambi from which the word Jumbi is said to be derived. There was also the Jumbi from Marco, a stilt walker, like the Long Ghost. An extract from Run Run Jambula Com by Marion Blair. The Maka Jumbi has been a staple in Caribbean festivities for generations. In fact, its regional presence dates back to the colonial past. An extract from In Carnival Culture in Action, the Trinidad Experience reads, When this stilt-walking traditional carnival character is asked where he is from, he responds that he has walked all the way across the Atlantic Ocean from the west coast of Africa. A Maka Jumbi is the spirit of Mako, the Orisha deity of fate and retribution who emphasizes that even as he endured centuries of brutal treatment, he remains tall, tall, tall. Here in Antigua and Barbuda, Maka Jumbis were most common during the Christmas season and at Carnival, but they also perform at private events. The late Sir Selvin Walter describes the cultural role of Maka Jumbis during the Christmas season in old time Christmas and Antiguan characters. Christmas was definitely in the air. Every night you could hear the deep throbbing of the Maka Jumbi and Jumper Bend drums coming from the vicinity of the huge rubbish heap in the point. Christmas celebrations in Antigua have grown westernized over the decades, and as such, the Makajumbi and fellow Christmas staple John Bull have faded out of festivities. However, the Makajumbi's presence still remains in Carnival. Vitus Mash Troop has been a strong proponent for the preservation of Makajumbi's for decades and has utilized them in a number of road matches over the years copying Band of the Year in 1994, 96, and 98. Daniel Charles has been silt walking for roughly three decades, and he began his journey with Vitus. I said to myself, one of these times, I must try this. You know, and a few years after, then I got into the art form. I wasn't involved in Carnival at that time. It was in 1990. I just got promoted to sixth grade. In 2013, the exclamation mash troupe was born out of Vitus, and Charles is band leader and costume designer. Exclamation has since won a number of carnival accolades, including 2018 Medium Band of the Year and 2019 Small Band of the Year. To date, we have never dropped below third place in these various competitions that we enter in. The band, he says, is family oriented. However, due to their origin within the Catholic Church, they have received some pushback for their decision to participate in carnival festivities. At the end of the day, our main purpose is to be moral and merry and show people that you can, you can enjoy yourself in a clean way. The feeling, he says, of dancing on stilts as the rhythm of the iron band surrounds you is like none other. The feeling is real nice for me personally because I'm like close to about 10 feet in the air. As the years go by, there is, however, a concern that the art form may be lost to time. Young people are more um, caught up with their phones and social media, which does not give them the time and the opportunity to learn about their culture. The onus, he says, is on the older members of society to ensure traditions remain. Also, it has to do with their parents and grandparents and other members of their family who are older, who are used to that type of thing, you know, to educate them and to teach them about it. Rakib Aparicio reporting for ABS News.